da 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 ba 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 da 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 I'm never going to do another intro like this again. I'm sorry. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, if you've ever watched any of my Kerbal Space Program videos before, you may have heard me say that one of my big all-time Kerbal Space Program goals is to get a shuttle into space. And I've failed every single time. Actually, with correction, I've never really seriously tried. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Kerbal Space Program patch or version 0.17. This has introduced quite a few new parts, but in the biggest addition, cockpit view. This is so freaking cool. Anywho, this is my first serious, really thought out shuttle attempt. This is the Buster MK5. MK1, MK2, MK3, and MK4 were all failures and slowly adapted into the fifth variant. Um, over time, I've replaced the winglet thrusters, blah, blah. Okay, listen. So here's how it works. And the first stage of my takeoff, you're going to see these little side winglets take off. These are six air intake jet engines. After they slowly, and this is going to be really painful, slowly get me out of orbit if, actually, we've had a lot of failure. Um, as it's getting me out of orbit, I'll eventually no longer have air to take into it, and I have an ejection system on the side. After that, I am then going to use a single thruster down here, which is the liquid-based engine, a rocket engine, to help me get completely out of the atmosphere. Uh, the way it works is I currently have these two fuel cells right here, which I've just had a stroke of genius. I'm now going to disable the flow to them so they keep their weight all the way up until we are out of the atmosphere. Okay, so these are actually solidly here just for a counterweight for the shuttle, because the shuttle will actually make this thing flop around and fly like an idiot. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's light this candle. All right. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 1 and a half, 1 and 1 quarter, 1 and 1 fifth, Letting the engines warm up because I forgot to power on the torque. Almost zero. Zero! Oh, good. It made it. All right. Lift off. Spectator cam. So, yeah. As you can see, she's actually really being able to lift off based off these six jet engines you see on the wings. Um... Right now, all we're doing is eagerly... Oh, wow, those engines were overheating. <laughs> Remind me not to hide the UI next time. Oh, and everyone, this is Handtop Kerman. Handtop, welcome to YouTube. Um, I would eject you, but you would die a very painful death. This is going to be our Kerbal, who, let's face it, he's going to make it into space. Oh, dear God, let him make it into space. All right, so currently, if you're new to Kerbal Space Program... My first area I'm in right now is called Lower Atmosphere. It's this section. It's the heaviest atmosphere. You remove the slowest and it's the hardest to exit. That's why I'm using the jet engines. Fortunately, it's also where the oxygen's at. Let me back up so I can actually talk. It's also where the oxygen's at so I can use these rockets to help me get up there. By the way, um, I think I mentioned it. Like I said, I have a brand new computer. I have upgraded my computer, but pretty much everything's new except my hard drive. As you see, the the frame rate is amazingly better. I'm able to still talk to y'all and the ship's able to take off on its own. You can see the textures are a little bit better. Now this is also due to the fact this is now Kerbal Space Program 1 or 0 0.17 and not 0 0.16. This, again, this is a great game. If you like simulation games, if you like space, um, you know, if you're a nerd like myself, a great buy. $18 to buy, but I recommend getting the free demo which has about one-fourth of everything you see here. All right. It's going to get a little loud. I love the sound of these engines. I don't mind it. I love these indecisive winglets. Look at them. That's actually really trippy. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have our first success story or major cataclysm event. We are breaking out of atmosphere one, going into atmosphere two. 
I'm monitoring my speed and my altitude. Hopefully we can break this. When I start seeing the ship fall again, I'm cutting the engines and switching to the next one. Any second now. All right, we're still making good speed. Great speed up here if you're watching. Um, almost broken out of the heaviest atmosphere. Overheating's done. Come on, ship, hold together. Hold it together. Here we go, here we go. Slowing down in speed, you seeing this? Come on, baby, you can do it. Good thinking. Okay, I'm sorry. All right, here we go. Slowing down, waiting for this. When I start seeing this, there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, stage two. Goodbye, little oxygen breathers. All right, stage two is going phenomenally well. I don't want to click anything, please go away. There we go. Okay, now fuel consumption. I have three of these big fuel cells to work with. Um, in case of emergency, I can quickly activate these to get a little bit more lift, but I am incredibly, this is, okay, I, I don't, this is, this is pretty exciting. No, something happened. What just happened? No. Oh God, what was that? Why are you smiling? Oh God, what, what just happened there? Oh, what just happened here? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, everything was literally going 100% according to plan. Everything was working quite well. Um, somehow the, the nose of the aircraft randomly broke off. Um, Handtop here, he, he doesn't know that he's completely screwed. He thinks that the the sound system, the engines died. I would have easily made it into orbit with my first shuttle. <sighs> One day. One day. All right. Listen, Hank Top, you've been truly awesome. Let's speed this up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, present arms. sound of wind. Hold on. I'm actually going to see if I can fly her right back into the... the sh come on. Come on. Hit, hit the shuttle. Hit the shuttle. Wait. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that that was disappointing. Um, all right, let's see what the log says happened there. All right, at zero 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 zero, we have liftoff. Separation of stage six confirmed. That was the uh, the support beams. Uh, structural failure linkage between the advanced SAS module and the MK one. Okay, so looks like right here. So there's structural failure between the SAS module and the MK1 cockpit. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you so much for watching. Unfortunately, um, Handtop, he, um, gave his life in the pursuit of engineering greatness, as the hundreds and hundreds of other comments. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to try to figure this out, and hopefully I'll have a video where I'm in orbit. Y'all have a great day. Thank you so much. And could you do me a favor? You know, just just for my personal ego, you can hit that like button. It's got the thumb up. It's kind of like you know, on Facebook, you do thumbs up for your like. You know, just, just so I know people are actually watching this. Not not because there's any second thing to gain. Just, just anyway, y'all have a good one. And we'll look to the star. That's a terrible ending phrase. Hold on, hold on. Peace out.